three new IEMs to unbox today. We have two new ultra version of previously known IEMs. We have the Yume Ultra and the BQEYC Winter Ultra. I think the SA6 Ultra kind of started a little naming trend. And last but not least, Performer 8 by Awful. Yes, you guys remember the Performer 5? I was a huge fan of that. Let's see how the newest one fare. Hey friends, Simi, welcome back to another video on Giz Audio. And today we have, like I said, three new IEMs to unbox and do first impressions of today. Of course, my source of choice is going to be my topic A90, D90 stack. For those of you who care about sources, I'll be playing songs on Spotify. The song of choice today is going to be whatever is on the screen because I haven't decided yet as of uh, I'm filming this video. <laughs> Let's first start off with one of the ultra version with you may ultra as you can see the front of the box here very cool stylish the back of the box have some information and a graph slide out the sleeve like so to reveal the inner box open the flap some informational booklet card probably. The IEM sitting inside there like so. Also, same cable as the Yume 2 if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that one. Below the IEMs, you also get an assortment of ear tips. Yeah, look at that. The shape of the shell seems to be the exact same as the original Yume, so different from the Midnight version and the 2 version. This is more along the line of the, uh, the OG. All right, in the ears, we go. Let's try it out. Oh man, mixed feelings. There are some quite impressive quality about it, like how engaging it sounds. Like the bass, even though I can tell it's not a lot of bass, but the thumps, the rumble, it comes across so engaging. Like it actually feels impactful and dynamic. The treble is smooth, but all the little details in the treble are not in your face, but enough to give you that excitement from it. The only thing that I find a little iffy is in the upper mid range. It feels like it's a little bit uneven there, but all in all, the rest of it is great. Sound signature wise, more on the neutral side, a little bit like a hybrid between the original Yume and Yume 2. You get quite a bit of treble sparkle as akin to the Yume 2, but you get a really clean kind of neutral sub bassy focus signature in the lower end like the original Yume. All in all, good so far. Stay tuned for review coming in the future. Next, let's go with Performer 8 by Awful. This one I'm super excited to try. You can see here the front of the box. The back of the box have some more information. Slide out the sleeve, open the flap. Pretty much similar unboxing experience to the Yume Ultra, a little foam thing right here for protection. I am sitting inside like so. In the ears we go, very, uh, comfortable small size i think it's about the same size as the yume which you know i love small comfortable will fit pretty much any ears let's listen oh, oh. oh. this reminds me a little bit of the SA6 series, like SA6, SA6 Ultra, and SA6 MK2, in the way that it does the mid-range. So as you know, there are two main ways of doing mid-range that people tend to enjoy, the Harman-ish kind of way, or the Dunu SA6 ways or QDC ways, where the lower mids is bumped slightly and has a slow and gradual increase over to the upper mid range. So that is what this kind of sounds like. And what it does is it gives vocals and instruments this richness, this fullness, while at the same time allowing for, if done well, bass and treble elements to really shine. You get a lot of details from this. Back to Performer 8. This one is impressive. I really like it. It's smooth the whole way through. The bass is really nice, rumbly. The mid-range, like I said, again, has this kind of richness and fullness to it, while the highs, probably the most impressive part, is smooth, yet very sparkly and engaging, exciting. Full review in the future, for sure. They really did a great job with this. Much better than the already pretty good Performer 5. And last but not least, BQEYC Winter Ultra Edition. Yes, front of the box here. A lot of people love the original Winter. I wasn't one of the 
fans of original Winter. So let's see if Winter Ultra does any better. Remove the sleeve like so, open it up. I feel like all this unboxing experience has been just very similar. Brands, please come up with more uh, unique way to stand out maybe. The I am sitting in there like so. And I gotta say, this is very, very pretty blue. Like in person, they are shiny. Wow. <laughs> like they're very vibrant as well. If you play Minecraft, oh God, I play Minecraft, all right? It's a really fun game. But if you play Minecraft, these look kind of like lapis stones, yeah. They look really pretty, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. Warm, muddy. Highs are not very sparkly. All right, that's it for the unboxing today of the three new IEMs. I'm really impressed by the Performer 8 especially. You may Ultra is good right now, but I have to listen to more of it to really confirm my thoughts. So stay tuned for a review of those two IEMs. The, uh, the Winter Ultra, maybe, maybe. Maybe, if I have time. And with all that being said, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I'd like to thank my Patreon subscriber now. For the $9 people, we have Bard, Chadwick, K, Norm, Robert, Sunerol, $18 people, Dr. P, Go210, Kirk, Mason, Paul, and Sar. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel yourself, link to Patreon down below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and bye.